stream do you do? Uh, yeah, I use it for the, the, the uh, live stream the um, third person movies. So oh. I can look at it immediately. So what it does is when you live stream YouTube, if you want to like record something, but you don't have to upload it, you live stream it. And then not only is it actually live streamed, but it's mm -hmm. actually uploaded too. Just like you don't have to like live stream it. I feel sad because I don't have a cup of tea or something. Yeah, I don't tea. Is this the old bag that was already in there from last night? No. Like double <laughs> bag? Yeah, they're two nice. new ones. They're from Aubrey. Wait, what tea is this again? Is this the peach tea? Alicia says hello, by the way. Oh, hello, Alicia. What type of tea is this? It's peach or apricot or whatever. Oh. I want tastes I like want trash. Tea, you know? It's like, like somebody like repackaged whatever was at the bottom of the garbage bag and put it into like yep. donkey bags. Hi, everybody. It's disgusting. It's hot though. So. so real quick, while we just set up here, I'm gonna make sure everybody knows how to message us with any questions and or answers as we're gonna do a little uh, Q&A session. Coach Jacob is here to join us today. Um, so let's just do this. If anyone has any, Judson and Bryce are here. Same mm. one, Judson and Bryce. Go away, please. Sammy and Ryan are here. Hello. Well, <laughs> everyone has any uh, questions or comments? <sighs> Please message me directly. You know, you can actually type without actually Ooh. saying it. Kristen's here. Kristen. I want to talk out loud though. Okay. Let's Hello, Kristen. do this. Um, I keep getting the screen. <laughs> I, I tore the tea. They're like, okay, so you know, like the little paper squares you get in? Yeah. It actually keeps it weighted down. I tore it off because I was fiddling with it and I folded it up and now I'm regretting because every time I tear it, I eat a string. Mm. All right, sweet. Are you okay? Yeah, I almost choked my teeth. That would be <laughs> Oh, man. Mm. All right. Uh, hi, Coach Jacob from Andrew. Says Andrew Shuck. What are you doing? I'm stretching my head. Okay, fun, fun fact. So we have our cups. We yeah, are not. Actually, fun fact. These are. I was going to say that. <laughs> I'm wearing his sweatpants and he's wearing mine. Yeah, sweatpants. I'm wearing her pants and she's wearing my pants. I, I don't know why she's wearing mine, but these are super soft. So I was like, those are from Isla and Clinic's mom. Oh, so, he, so Coach Jacob just got back and he's like rooting around like in the leftover clothes and whatever. And he's like, can I wear these? And I was like, not really paying attention. I was like, sure. And he comes downstairs. I was like, those are my sweatpants. Yeah, but like I was like, those are the, soft. he's like, these are really nice. I was like, I know thing. they're mine. I feel like I'm having baby's children's blanket. Oh, a bit a bit is a baby a baby children a children. okay so let's get stretching while we are uh, doing this so we're gonna scoot back a little bit so we're not like in your face okay um uh, <laughs> so we are not at beyond the belt these pants are so tight around my massive ankles um so we are not beyond the belt we are in our living room yeah. so we're gonna just go to this is beyond stretch. the belt just in case you didn't know <laughs> this is what the, this is it? actually the no, renovated no. bathroom you know the secret door in dojo b this is what's behind mm -hmm. it yeah, um, not the so we're going to butterfly stretch just to get started. And basically what we're going to do, um, um, I'm so excited to see this beach pop up. My day is made when I can tend the live streams. Yes, which is, is why, no, it's not your mom. It's Kristen. This is why we wanted to do this in the afternoon because I know not everybody can. What are we doing? We're, doing butterfly, we're doing butterfly stretch. Um, I know not everybody can do the, what do you call it? Um, morning session. So basically what we do, if you've not attended this before, which you've only done this one other time. Please stop. <laughs> One other time um, is basically we're going to do some stretches and we're going to ask you some questions that you can answer. Or if you have any questions, you can ask us and we'll answer questions. questions. No, stop. Okay. So joining us, Connor campus. Harding is here. All right, Connor. Connor's here. Um, Lily Sousa's here. Oh, uh, that's sad. <laughs> um, I, I don't forget, you betrayed me, Lily. Kind of. We're going to do one layout, one layout. I look like a hobbit now. <laughs> yes. Very <laughs> short. Um, Nicholas is here. Hello, Nicholas. Um, let's see. Haley Netto's here. Hello, Haley. Haley. Haley, so we did a push up. Oh, push ups. Hello. We did that too. We did a punching challenge on Monday. Sure. How sure. many punches can you do from mount to your pillow in 60 seconds? Like this? And yes, and she got 217. Nice. Which is pretty good. Do your impressive. arms still function? Lydia's here. Hi, Lydia. Oh, Lydia. Um, so while we're stretching, uh, I will ask the first question for everybody. So this right here is, I don't know if you can see it. It is a, thank you, Coach Jacob. It's like an extra stretch. I don't, yes, actually. Whoa, we're both using the same parts of that Christmas present. What? 
this and that were the same part of it. Oh, they were? Anyways, so this right here is my Tower of Terror mug um, that my brother gave to me and Coach Jacob on the 12th day of Christmas. Uh, not really, but Tower of Terror is my favorite Disney ride. So my question is for you guys, if you've been to Disney, what is your favorite Disney ride? And if you've not been to Disney and you would love to go someday eventually, what ride do you think would be your favorite? So like I said, Tower of Terror is my favorite. Coach Jacob, what is your favorite ride at Disney? We're going to switch legs. Uh, Tower of Terror is pretty darn good. I'm not going to lie, but because just for the sake of mixing things up, I've always been a roller coaster fan because, you know, falling down and screaming is fun, especially when it's not a flight <laughs> of stairs. And so uh, roller coasters are great, right? And so there's not a lot of big roller coasters at Disney, but there's a ride called Rock and Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios, which is pretty fun. Uh, you go, go upside down like that. And then Expedition Everest. Now, oh, yes. Now, okay. I won't spoil it, but there's a part of Expedition Everest where something happens, right? Unexpected. And it scares a lot of people because it looks like the ride broke, okay? I won't go into details about that. But me and my brother one time, the first, when we wrote, wrote it a couple of times, you know, there's somebody who'd never ridden it before right behind us, and they're, and they're kind of freaking out. And we're like, oh, yeah, don't be scared. Don't be scared. And, you know, we're kind of keeping them calm. You know, we've done it before. And it gets the part where it looks like the ride broke, right? And then we start to freak out, and it makes the people behind us think that something was, yeah. It was, it was funny home. at the time. It was funny at the time. <laughs> um, so we have, first of all, Travis and Nora. Are oh, here. Hey, Travis. Hey, Nora. Every time I go to class, I feel like they're always like, when's Coach Jacob teaching class? And I was like, mm. that's okay. That's what I said. Okay, we're going to go to Straddle. Okay. Um, so we have some responses here. Uh, wow. Okay, so Space Mountain from Andrew Shuxley. Yeah, that's a good one. I love Space yeah, Mountain. Space Mountain now keep in mind, I've only been to Disney once in my whole life, so it's not like I'm an expert on this, but still. Um, Nicholas says Space Mountain. Yeah. And Haley's mom says, hi, Coach Jacob. We have uh, missed you. So glad you're back. Perrin you. says Space Mountain or Fast Track. Ooh. Yeah, Fast Track is good. They, okay, so this is the stupid part, okay? I, I spent more time after the, the, the Fast Track thing was over trying to actually, you know how you can, like, design your own car? I spent more time on that than the actual ride. Right. <laughs> okay, Mercy just said Expedition, Everest, and Tower Terror, so Mercy now That's good. Friends. That's good. We, we've talked about that. I love it. Okay, Tower Terror, I just, I love creepy old things, too, so the whole like queue me. line is great. Yes. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jacob. Okay, so, Coach Jacob, would you like to ask the next question for everyone? Uh, sure. Okay, so here's the thing. This is tea, okay? Now, I don't really know why I like tea as much as I do. It doesn't really taste that great. It tastes okay. It's hot. It's warm. It's all right. But what is something that you love, that you really like, that a lot of people don't like? It could be a food. It could be a drink. It could be a hobby. toy, maybe a ride or a hobby. Like, I know people collect stamps. A random thing. What the heck is wrong with you collecting stamps? They're <laughs> sticky and boring. Why would you ever want to collect stamps? They you sit there, right? Coins, a mail that's up. another one. Why do people collect coins? Or, what is the word? Brussels sprouts. What? They're awful. They're why delicious. Would you? Exactly. So she's an idiot. So why <laughs> does she like Brussels sprouts? Okay, what is something? It's, it could be a toy, a food, a drink, like like tea. Uh, maybe there's something that you like to do. Maybe Whoa. like vacuuming the floor. This one's weird. Chicken with maple syrup. That actually doesn't that feels that like bad. A, that feels like a southern thing. That the, It's not, yeah. like chicken and waffles is a thing, right? You're from yeah. the south? Yeah. <laughs> you know everything about that this. That is a little strange, though. Chicken. Um, also, Andrew's mom says, I love Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts too. They're okay. so good. The Misery best, loves company. The best way to shake your legs in. Oh, shake oh, my so legs. In. I'm going to do both legs out in front and reach down for our toes. The best way to eat, um, the best way to eat Brussels sprouts, I think, is if you yeah. dice them up with olive oil in the oven. Ooh, make them spicy. So, the best way to serve Brussels sprouts the way I used to do with my mom back in the day was we'd get them out of the bag, we'd chop them up. We charbroil them, which I know sounds weird, but Yum. we charbroil them with A1 steak sauce. We yeah. wrap them up in a plastic baggie and throw them in the trash where they belong. What? <laughs> okay, wait, hang on. We get some answers. So Nicholas, um, Nicholas loves to clean toilets with the brush. Okay. <laughs> he's, right. a, he's a toilet cleaner. Too far. Um, Travis will dunk any food in ranch, any food, in capital letters, any. Which makes me really right, curious right. as to hang on, hang on, we gotta we gotta pull some mental gymnastics. Okay, listen, there's ice cream, this the ice cream complex. What is the heck is it called? The Jordan's? No, the Happy Cow? 
Ha ha happy cow. Okay? <laughs> the moose is just I don't know. It's an animal. One ugly animal. He's lived like, here like five years. He's like, I haven't lived here long enough to know. Okay, anyway, you go to the happy cow and you get a chocolate ice cream cone. Do you dip that in ranch sauce? And if so, oh. then how are you still? Alicia this? says banana almond milk. That doesn't sound too bad. That is unusual. Though. It is unusual for yeah. sure. Um, Kristen says peeps. I know a lot of people who don't like them. Yeah, peeps. I don't know many okay. people that actually peeps like peeps. Peeps is actually like they accidentally like drop. You know, okay, you know, you know the you guys ever seen the Reese's commercial where like you know, like, oh no, peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, whoa. oh it's amazing, right? <laughs> okay. Peeps is like they did that with styrofoam and like strawberry syrup, right? It's not <laughs> actually food. All you're doing is eating a syrup on like in the crunchy stuff. It's not actually a can. Uh, all right, so real quick, before we get to the next answer, so we're going to have one leg out, and we're going to bring one leg over, and we're going to either grab onto our arm so you nice can grab onto your leg, and you're just going to pull your leg in nice and tight. Oh, I need to stretch, I need to stretch this out. So uh, Sammy and Ryan, what not to do. Sammy loves ketchup and mashed potatoes mixed together. Okay, so that's one of the things where it's, it's like, like I understand, but I don't understand. Like. It's not French fries. What is wrong with you? This one's really, really weird. I've never heard of this. Ryan loves to dip his steak in cottage cheese. Is that what it says? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke a coach. Okay. You broke him. Ah. Um, also, Travis, to respond oh. to the earlier question about the chocolate ice cream yes. and ranch, he says, yes, I do. Okay, Travis, that's okay. I don't want to be your friend anymore. <laughs> Haley uh, loves asparagus. Okay, I can get that one. Asparagus is okay. Asparagus is pretty. Sorry. You have to, like, not, not plain, legs. though. Why is it that some vegetables are okay plain, but, like, carrots, no, fine. Lettuce, fine. Like, can you imagine cooking lettuce? But, but like, asparagus. I, I don't think asparagus is plain. Whoa, good. whoa, whoa. Lily's mom says, I also love to put dip. You have to dip french fries in ice cream? That's understandable. Well, like, here's the thing. You have to understand this. We have to dissect this. French fries are relatively, like, neutral flavor, uh -oh, but it's salty. But it's salty, right? So, like, salty, sweet stuff tastes good, and French fries doesn't have, like, a really strong flavor. Now, what would be weird would be, like, Cajun fries with ice cream. That would be weird. Cajun? Yeah. No. Yeah, something, like, really strong flavor. Which is why I don't understand the ranch, because like, yeah. I'm just checking all my different outlets. This is really like, there's so many different ways people write me back that it takes me a second to make sure I get everybody's answers. Lydia says, a good steak with some ketchup. That's not that unusual, I don't think. Uh, I mean, it's, it's inferior, unusual. but it's not that unusual. It's <laughs> inferior. Yeah. Hey. All right, and keep in mind too, guys, while we're doing stretches, like I'm, we're both like getting older now. We're like, okay, I can hear all the parents going, you guys are old. We're old compared to the seven-year-olds. So if we're holding a stretch too long, feel free to switch things up. You do not have to hold on to the stretch. If you do. get bored, you can simply turn off the stream and do something else that's more entertaining. What's more entertaining than this? Okay, so we're going to uh, go crisscross. So one leg's on top of the other. And basically all you're going to do is you're going to bend at the hips so that whatever leg is on top, you're going to feel it kind of in the back of your hip. What was that? No. Also, Coach Jacob has to sit on a little pillow because he's... I'm not! Okay, look. You're not? Yes, you are. <laughs> I don't have to, but this is a pillow. So it's soft. It's a teeny little Why would I not sit on a pillow? pillow? You know, if you don't have a pillow, you can always ask one of your siblings and sit on them instead. Okay, two things. I missed two answers. One, the random weird things. Lily's mom says, I like to collect rocks. Lily says that? Lily's mom. Lily's I think, mom. well, is it Lily Lily's or is it... Lily's who's it? Yeah, is it Lily who likes to collect rocks? Or is it Lily's mom? Wait, sorry. is it Lily or is it Lily? Okay. And then Hope's mom says, we eat applesauce on mac and cheese, which some people think is weird, but it's actually delicious. Mm. I feel like I've heard that before. I feel like I... Doesn't make it acceptable. Oh, it's Lily. Lily collects rocks. Lily collects Lily's rocks. Lily's also the French fry ice cream eater. Okay. So well, I've been blaming you. I'm not surprised Lily's that mom. Lily does freakishly weird Sammy things. collects rocks too. Look at that. We have two rock collectors. So oh. fun fact. Okay. Can I pull up my rock collection? Yeah. Okay. Ahead. So hang on. Just fun fact. People that collect rocks. Oh, no. I thought you were going upstairs. I wanted you to go upstairs. No. I'm sorry. So we can get rid of her. I don't actually care about the rocks. No. Ow. You guys ever have that where somebody's like, do you care about this? And you're like, sure, but you're doing it to be polite. Okay, so fun fact. Switch legs, by the way. So whatever leg was not on top, 
put the other one on top. So fun fact, I loved rocks growing up. And so I have like a whole oh, collection. See, these aren't rocks. These are like gems. Um, this is a rock? What do you, would you call this yeah, a but, rock? Okay, so, so, this listen, is a rock. That is a rock. But why would you collect a rock? Because it's sparkly. This is not a rock. This is that's not sparkly. That's like, this is a really cool piece of quartz. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's shaped gonna, like Florida. We're gonna, we're gonna grade the rocks, okay? Sparkly stretching. has edges. We'll give that a three out of five. That's pirate. Amethyst, right? Amethyst. Yeah, yes. it's like purple and spiky. We'll give that a four out of yes. five. Even better, amethyst. I don't know if you guys can see that. The that's thing is a really pretty dang. That's almost as shiny as I am. <laughs> Give that one a five out of five. This is nothing but a rock cut in half. It's, it's mildly sparkly. Look, if you took this rock Dude. and you polished it up, it would make like a, a really nice, nice counter. Seriously, that's a like counter. Wow. That costs a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, a counter of all the thrilling things. Wow. <laughs> this is quartz. Quartz. Yeah. Smoky. Boring quartz. rock. Two yeah, out of five. It's more. This is not even rock. That's mica. That's vermiculite, I'm pretty sure. It's mica. It's mica. With a piece of quartz attached to it. So, rock. Elsa says hi, by the way. Oh, hi, Elsa. How are you? She still has her little pink boxing gloves. Oh, it's oh really? Pink boxing gloves? Oh, yeah! I forgot about that. Um, how are the fairies? Uh, how are the fairies? Yeah. She's a fairy. Oh, come on. This isn't a rock. It is a piece of mica. It's yes. so cool. You can see through it. Look yes. at that. Look yes. at that. Also, um, Nora thinks crystal's rock. No pun intended. Okay. This this is, what is this, igneous rock or something? Um, I don't remember. This is a bit, you're going back a long time, bro. This is, you're going back a long time. All right. but, here. This one's really cool. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. It looks just like a hunk of rock. Okay. But like in that little corner, like right in here, is a bunch of little crystals. Little I've never seen so many dull objects in one place since the last time. It's a fun. Okay, frog class. stretch. We're doing frog stretch. Coach Jacob's going to keep making fun of my superior rock collection. I wasn't. Okay, how about this? Parents, you can join in on this. Okay. Um. What is your most rock? <laughs> Sorry. Frog stretch. No, oh, yeah, frog stretch. What? Uh, okay, actually, ladies and gentlemen, if your knee, if you're, if it like kind of hurts, you can put like a little thing there. You know, and I got my shirt here. Choosing the. He's prepared. Things. What? Okay, if you're a parent, you can answer this maybe um, to see if you have a similarity with us or <laughs> or your kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, what is or was your most prized? possession as a kid like you're like this toy or this shirt or this uh oh coach Jacob what was your most prized possession growing up the refrigerator, the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah that was all your my most, happy memories not like a toy like what was your like most prized oh, possession like toy? as a toy or like a book um or... um I mean like it wasn't a toy how many of you guys, you guys, anyone remember Bionicles? Please, some of you guys remember Bionicles. Okay, yeah. I so say, let's bring up the Bionicles. Because okay. <laughs> here's the fun thing about Bionicles is that they're a children's toy. And here's the fun thing about children's toy. It's over here if you're looking for Spilo. He's on the coffee mug over there. Coffee. Or the whatever mug. <laughs> Please excuse me. I still have one! He has a little bucket of bionicles. I, I don't know. It's not really my bionicles. They're her brother's that she got rid of him. Uh, but prize possession, I had a little teddy bear named Barry Bear, He's cleverly named, that I still have, that I've had that since oh, I was one years old. Come on, let's stretch. Oh, come off to your knees. So while we're getting some answers in here, um, we'll just do a little neck stretching. So okay. just tipping your head to the side. You shouldn't be like trying to yank on your head. You can put a little pressure if you want to. We're just going to stretch your neck. This to the side. is not good form. Nope, that is not good form. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, Sammy loves her pink teddy. What is nice. your pink teddy's name though? Because my sister had a light purple teddy bear and its name was Lilac. So I'm expecting nice. like Rose or something like that. Okay. Well, it just says my guitar that was handmade by someone. Ooh. That's really cool. Okay. Now I'm just. The teddy bear's name is Teddy. Ha! Huh. Okay. So, so Berry like Bear, Teddy, they're probably best teddy, friends. Teddy. <laughs> oh, switching sides. Larkin and Susie are here. Larkin's hey, Larkin. prize possession was a doll named New Baby. New? New baby. Oh, as opposed to old baby. That's okay. Coach Jacob, when he was, how old were you, like seven or eight, decided his child was going to be named Cynthia. Why does that have to do with old baby? Because baby names. I don't know. I kind of like the name Cynthia. Cynthia. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kristen says, I have this three-foot stuffed bear, and half of it is flat dye. What? Flat 
oh, flattened. I think it's flattens was a flattened for me sleeping with it so much. Fun fact, I still have this bear. His name is Big Bear. <laughs> I feel like if you have a bear, you have to name it so generally like Barry Bear or Teddy or Big Bear. Oh, I have a story. My brother's bear was named Bubby Bear. I <laughs> can we hang on? We're still we're still reading. Also, Elsa says the fairies are good. Okay, good. Um, uh, Ryan carried around a naked doll for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Okay. Oh, okay. Pause on the stretches for a second, guys. Oh, I just read some of these. These are great. Um Susie says, I had a stuffed dog named Sammy. And also, Larkin was only two when she named New Baby, New Baby. So that's why the baby was named New Baby. Okay, hang on. Let me check the other answers. We have, Nick says Xbox. That is a fit. Especially right now. I feel like that's a very prized possession to have. Um, strawberry shortcake doll. It actually smells like strawberries. Oh, Becky. My sister, Becky, some of you guys know Becky, loves strawberry shortcake. She had so many strawberry shortcake things. And Elsa says her chickens are her most favorite. Huh. Chickens, okay, chickens aren't super cute, but they have something endearing about them. And eggs. Sounds like you. Also, wait, where's Amari? Oh, you guys want to meet my cat? Thank uh, you. Amari. Amari. She's sleeping. Oh, hang on. No, she's sleeping. Amari. Come here. She's meowing. Yeah. I feel she behaves. Good girl. There's Mari. Say hi. hi. Don't stick your bum in the camera, please. Okay, well, whole gang's here now. There's Mari. <laughs> um, Coach Bryce says he's with you on the Bionicles. Who? Bryce? Bryce. Oh, that's the first smart thing you've said. <laughs> ever, I think. Maybe ever. Amari, say hi. You want to say hi? She doesn't speak English, man. <laughs> that's fair. That's very true. Um, will you please give Jacob a hug from us and a punch on the arm from Larkin? Oh, okay. <laughs> I see how it is. Amari, will bath. you still get? Will you give Larkin? Let's see here. A punch in the arm and a punch in the arm too. Wow. Okay. Or each arm. So creative. Um, Lily says she has a stuffed animal elephant that she can wait that she named Doctor Domehead. Did I read that correctly? <laughs> Dome head. Um, Nora has a stuffed dog named Nacho. That is a great name for a stuffed dog, Nacho. Maybe. Also, Amari is literally just taking a bath. Just yeah, she's licking her leg. She's just chilling. She's just a big blob in front of me. <laughs> nice cat butt, says Susie. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Listen, she wants to show off her best side right now. I mean, like, let's yeah. be honest. Okay, so um, while Coach Jacob tells a story, we're gonna continue with stretches. It's, Sorry, it's kind of a serious story, but we're gonna make it. A little okay, well, hang on. I have to tell him what this next stretch is before we get to that. He just is so bossy. My cat is literally bathing herself in front of everyone I ever have known. She's like, no, she's oh, she's there she is. is. Perturbed. Bye, Mari. Oh, swish, swish. Just keep <laughs> one last. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure, do you want to do the next stretch before you start? Yeah, it doesn't wait, matter. The next stretch? Okay, so we're going to do pigeon. Also, wait, I missed wait. a text from Elvin Sante. I'm so sorry, Elvin Sante. Liddy says her headbands. She does have a lot of headbands. Yes. Um, Elvin Sante says, I still have a stuffed animal dog that my sister got for me when I was born. I feel like a lot of people have these like stuffed animals that they got when they were like really little, like mm -hmm. you did. Um, I don't think I had a stuffed animal I got. Because you weren't a child. Uh, yeah, that's right. I was like... You um, were born an old, an old woman. Okay. So one leg, this is for Elvin Sante because he loves this stretch. Um, one leg's bent. Your other leg's going to go straight behind you like this, or you can bend it a little bit, but you want to come forward. I like trying to straighten that leg out mm -hmm. or and can I give stretch, stretch out the hip turn. Up to you. So if you can't or don't want to do this one because you're a little child like me, remember how we did the hamstring stretch where we tuck the leg and we pull it in? What you could do instead is you can tuck the knee in and then pull the leg over and then you just kind of lean forward. But you just look like so that. much more relaxed and calm when you do it that way. Yes. Okay, story time with Coach Jacob, everyone. It's not a very silly story, but I but it kind of speaks to me. Is because, this a you know, dark, it's like, sad story? It's not. Oh. It's a good story, but it has okay. it's difficult. You know, it's like really, really bad, and it's like really good, but really bad again. And then really good. And then really bad. And so it's is this like, like a biography or no? Well, kind of, right? I need some because okay, here's the deal. So I, I my neck is like hurting and like still working through injuries and stuff like that. And Honestly, considering I'm still trying to remain physically active and, you know, do, do my exercises and stuff. And I know a lot of you guys, obviously, if you're still doing Beyond the Belt, you guys are too. 
But if any of you guys have ever gotten injured, you know, sprained an ankle or twisted your shoulder or maybe you broke your leg or something like that, uh, kind of getting back into Beyond the Belt or getting into martial arts, getting into anything, yeah. doing your push-ups, moving around. Obviously, we don't have Beyond the Belt right now, but even just getting up to do something is kind of tough. Um, but I can tell you a little bit about a story of somebody who did manage to overcome that, even switch though sides. it was really hard. So switch uh. sides. And this is, watch this, guys. Watch this. Okay, that looked like a Russian dance. Yeah, that, that, that was good. Okay, so his name was, <clears throat> I don't even know where he's from. I wrote this down a long time ago, but Kreron Bihan. I love a Star Wars guy. We're going to call him Crary. Because that sounds Little like, House on the Crary. Little House on the Crary. Okay, so listen, when he was a kid, he was like 10 years old, he was basically told, you're never going to walk again. We, we found a tumor or something really bad in your leg. And he's got all this nerve damage. He was like crying all the time because he was like hurting so much. It was really bad. Like I'm talking about like, my neck hurts. I broke my leg. Worse than that. Really bad. But he had a dream. He wanted to be kind of like some of you guys might want to be a black belt. This guy wanted to be an Olympic gymnast. Dang. Gymnastics, you know? Yep. Like the flippy stuff, okay? And and you're not going to do that if you've got a tumor in your leg. And your legs are hurting all the time. You can barely walk. He, in fact, he had to use a walker wow. when he was in like school. He was a walker. He couldn't even walk. Mm -hmm. So anyway, he got over that eventually. He was like 10, 11, 12 years old. Started to get better. Started actually training gymnastics. And then something really bad happened. He slipped, clanked his head, brain injury. Oh. Yep. And caused damage in his head. Real quick. Headaches. Quick pause. Back to butterfly stretch. Yeah. And you know what that means? Is it actually like messed up his head. And he couldn't even get to like relearn how to walk. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was in a wheelchair, guys, a wheelchair. So not only does he have the nerve damage and his leg tumor and all this stuff, then he bonked his head, and he has to relearn how to walk. And he's in a wheelchair. He's being picked on at school and everything. But he still wants to be a gymnast. Like, what kind of a nut wants to be a gymnast? You can't even walk. Who are you kidding? Well, then this, this is what happened. He wanted to be a European champion, right? He stuck it out. He's like a teenager now. He's getting really good. And then guess what happened? I don't know. He broke his legs. Are you serious? Both of them, his knees. Are you serious? Busting him up. Oh my god. Ouch. Word. Three things, gentlemen and ladies. Three of them. It was really bad. But he pushed through it. He got over his knee injury. He got over his leg tumors. He got over his brain injury. And then guess what? World Cup champion 2011 qualified for the London Olympics. For real? Mm -hmm. He did. Wow. Yeah, he did. Wow. So. I guess for me, it was kind of like, okay, well, he really wanted to do that. He worked for it, and he finally achieved it. How many of you guys have dealt with something like that? Maybe you guys haven't busted up your knees or bonked your head. Maybe, like I said, twisted your ankle or stubbed your toe well, like or a something like that. It makes you kind of feel like, I don't really feel like training more. Of course you don't feel like training more. No, but no. Like when my neck hurts, I don't feel like doing anything. I feel like lying down and feeling sorry for myself and drinking tea. Which right? you can still drink tea. That's not. There's nothing you can that. do that. Yes. Drinking tea is nothing to do with tea. No, it doesn't have anything. It's completely irrelevant to the discussion. However, the point still being is sometimes you kind of don't really feel motivated to do anything, um, and that's kind of this guy did it, right? Do you? How bad do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to be healthy? Do you want to be active? How bad do you want to get your black belt? What? If, what if you're like a football player, or a basketball player, or a baseball, or dance, or whatever that your hobby is? Sometimes we have these things that we deal with that kind of make it difficult to keep going, right? Mm -hmm. But ultimately, everybody goes through this. This guy went through a lot worse than you have it, probably. You probably have it easy. But everybody who wants to get to something is going to have those little road bumps where it's like really hard because either I'm hurting or I'm tired. I don't want to do it. And you got to go through it. You got to go through it. So real quick, here's a picture of the couples doing pigeon. And... Their mom says it's a couple of pigeons. Get it? Couples, couple. Yeah, of yeah. It's, it's, it's a low effort joke, but it's a good. It's Listen, a good pigeon. she can only do that because the last day. switch sides. One leg and one leg out. I could do the stretch all day. Haley says Amari is cute. Amari, Amari, come here, come here. She knows something's going on, but she doesn't know what, and that kind of is like she looks a little bit perturbed. Yeah, she's like, well, I was sleeping. You picked yes. me up, and I don't know what's going on now. Oh, Haley's also a pigeon. She's just hanging. There's Haley doing her pigeon stretch. Nice, nice. That's good. Oh, my gosh. I look so handsome. That's the best part. Look at that. Look at that. You can zoom in right in my face. Look at that. Or you can not. You can look. There's me, and there's Haley, and there's the floor, which also looks way better than you. No, it doesn't. Yeah, no. Wait you know, guys, if you want to just send me crop the most beautiful picture you have of me and send it to me, that'd be great. We can
could, we could do okay, it. We're we gonna have go an open to wall. The, we could just put pictures. We're going to go on to the next question, and we're going to go on straddle stretch. Stra straddle stretch. Okay, so ultimate question. Coach Jacob, have you seen have you seen Star Wars? All the Star Wars movies. Yes. Have you seen all the Lord of the Rings movies? Yes. Have you seen all the Harry Potter movies? Mm -hmm. Which almost a trilogy, which um franchise, I guess, which movie franchise would you say out of all the categories, just the the way the films are made, the casting, the the story, which franchise is the best and why? For you guys, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, which one's the best is this and why? Question for me? Yes, it's for everyone. Is this a trick question? Well, I know you can have bias, but you have to defend your bias. There's no bias. It's scientifically, categorically, cinematographically, entertainmentally. It's not even a word. Entertainmentally. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and just just <laughs> mentally, spiritually, sociologically. <laughs> so it's Lord of the Rings. Man. I don't know if you guys are old enough to see the Lord of the Rings. So one day when you're old and bearded like me, you'll be able to watch them. Very good stories. Okay. Good. Um, I do see the appeal of the other two, though. I, I've watched all of them, and I was a big Star Wars fan, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't read the Harry Potter books, so I'm planning on doing it, but I thought the movies were pretty good. So um, Bryce says Lord of the Rings. That's the second smartest thing you've said today. What is going on? <laughs> Bryce, um, I'm having a lot in common with you, and it makes me kind of sick to my stomach. So Mercy, Parent, and Alicia all say Star Wars. Um, mm. Also, Susie says you wish you were bearded. Wish I was bearded. I'll have you know, <laughs> I had a little bit of chin fuzz. You guys have never seen Scooby Doo? Okay? Oh, no. All right. You guys ever seen Scooby Doo? All, All right. right. Legs up for me. You know who Shaggy people? is? That's me when I don't shave. <laughs> I don't get a beard or a mustache. I get nothing. I get these do like foot long chin hair. It's like, hello, oh, everybody. You know, they're just like, it's, I stop moving, but they keep going like an hour afterwards. It's not good. It's not good. Please never do that again. Um, oh. Ryan says Marvel is the best, and Sammy says it's the best because it's just the best. Compelling argument. Wait, and Marvel? I mean, Marvel, yeah. Um, I didn't think about Marvel, so that's actually a really good point. Marvel um, is definitely... Um, my cat is smelling yeah, the computer. Good. Kristen said Harry Potter all the way. I read the books, and the movies are pretty spot on. I agree. I, I you know one thing I've read, though, is that, without no spoilers, but okay. that Snape, right? Snape is better in the movies than he's in the books. That's what I've heard. Is that true? I don't know. I don't That's know. what I've heard. Um, Elvin Santos says Star Wars because when they were making the original trilogy, the miniature work was amazing for the time. The prequel yeah. trilogy was meh, except for Revenge of the Sith. And I like how they have made the sequel trilogy. Okay, so here's my take. Oh, I didn't check all the answers. So then you'll get my take. Um, hang on one second. <laughs> I'm going to be so stretched out after this. This feels so good. Uh, like I said, feel free to do any of your own stretch. <laughs> I'm doing my own stretch. Any right of now. your own stretches. Um, this is just kind of free time to just kind of relax a little bit, um, hang out. Um, Star Wars. Oh, which one of your Star Wars movies is your favorite? Asks Elsa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna have to give. I, I don't. The recent trilogy. Not not as much of a fan of this. Not any of them. Um, <sighs> episode Empire Strikes Back. I think is probably the best one from the original. Mm -hmm. And I do agree with uh, Sunday, whatever the heck. Elvin Sunday. We call him Alan Sunday. Victor, you know, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Victor. <laughs> yeah. I like Revenge of the Sith. It's the some of the dialogue, especially when you get older, you're like, okay, did the child write this? Nothing against children. <laughs> you guys are kind of silly, which is the dialogue. But the movie itself is like pretty, it has some pretty cool scenes. I remember as a kid watching that lightsaber battle between Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin, I'm like, Oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. So I, I yeah, credit credit is due. I, I agree with you there. Um, so real quick, um, Star Wars says Haley's family. Okay. Um, let me just check the last section of messages. Um, Kristen says Snape. He is better in the movies, I believe. I feel like there is more emotion with Snape in the movies. All right. No spoilers. Um, also, Susie says, John and my first date was to see Lord of the Rings. He held my hand. Oh. Aww, that's cute. Okay, so my take. I'll go. I gotta get out of the stretch. I'm getting stuck. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're going. <laughs> what is this? This is my regal stretch. Can For those of you who don't know what regal means, it means kingly, beautiful, handsome. Okay, I'm going to stretch out. That's just why I'm doing it. My hip one more time because I am so tight. So we'll get. Okay, yeah, anyways. So my take is Lord of the Rings, excellently made, well made. Excellently, that's fair. Okay, really well made, 
Really good story. Really good all around. She hasn't read the books, though. So. I have read part of the books. Part of the books. Boring. Not really. I just haven't had the time or interest or the attention span. Anyways, really good. Harry Potter. Have not read all the books. I read part of one a long time ago. Again, I have short attention span. Sorry. But I also think really well. Star Wars. The reason Star Wars wins for me is the nostalgia I have attached yeah. to Star Wars. And kind of like what Vincent was saying is they were just so far ahead of their time. I feel bad, like, things that kind of messed up along the way, but the nostalgia for it is kind of, mm -hmm. I still think is one of the reasons why it's superior in my brain. But anyways, and my favorite Star Wars movie, Elsa, my favorite Star Wars movie is probably Empire Strikes Back, because Han Solo was awesome. Yes. Yeah, I know. So, okay, coaching, would you like to ask one final question to the gang um, before we wrap this up? we got one okay. more question. On this Make pillow it is a series of animals. Now, they're all part of the same kingdom, right? Aedes, bird. Yeah, they're all part of the same kingdom. Kingdom, species, I can't remember all that stuff, genus, right? They're all birds, okay? Now, if I sit long and hard and think if I could have any animal as a pet, I would probably choose a bird. It'd probably be like an eagle or a hawk or something like that, right? But how about that? If you guys can pick literally any animal that, let's say, it doesn't, I mean, it could be a dinosaur, right? But it's well behaved, doesn't take hours and hours of work, and it wouldn't, like, let's say, eat people, right? Let's just say oh, it was well behaved yeah. and sweet. If you could have any pet, any animal as a pet, if it was well behaved, wouldn't take a lot of work, what would what pet would you do? Like I said, a hawk or eagle for me. That'd probably be hard to have real life. Any pet. Definitely um, hawk or eagle. This is not a hawk. Larkin right? says right. harbor seal. That was like almost instantaneous. <laughs> the question's almost being asked. Just think about this one. Harbor why, har seal. why harbor seal? Yeah, why harbor seal, Larkin? I think for me, I would love any of the big, the big game cats. Like I just would game love, cats. Yeah, like <laughs> game show. <laughs> Welcome to Jeopardy. It's a tiger. I would love like a, a tiger yeah. or like a lion. I want the guy, the tiger from Life of Pi. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. Um, oh look, it's so cute. No. That's so cute. Bryce what a horrifying creature. And look, it's uh, the seal too. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. yeah <horrifying. laughs> um, <laughs> Ryan says sloth. Sammy says narwhal. Narwhal. Mom said nar narwhal. What, what is our cat doing right now? Why sloth? Look at that. Story. If you asked your mother, she'd be like, that's the second sloth we have in our house. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bryce says cheetah. Mercy says a snake if I didn't have to feed it mice. Yeah, that's the thing about snakes yeah. or any reptiles. I know Emily. Emily loves reptiles. My yeah. son, Emily. It's a long story. We call her my son. Anyways, she's got lizards and all kinds of things and geckos and, oh, yeah, the crickets and stuff. They're hard to take care of, too. Alicia says dolphin. Oh, nice. dolphins are that really friendly, cool. I, I've heard. Just also, smart. they can kill sharks. You say that every single time. Because I sharks. think it's so every cool and fascinating and horrible. Like, oh, that's a dolphin. I can kill they sharks. can kill I sharks. Like sharks. Parents says a Wookiee. You didn't say oh. it couldn't be. A Wookiee? Dude, you didn't say. They're sentient. They can think and talk and battle. You keep it as a pet. You got a peep Chewbacca in a cage. Calm down. What is breathe. wrong with you? Breathe, breathe, breathe. Chewbacca's like, I am as smart okay. as you are. Just... Get down your cage, Chewbacca. <laughs> are you mad because you have a Chewbacca mug? Honestly, this is kind of weird. I mean, it's like I'm eating, like, this is made out of Chewbacca's skin. It's like Chewbacca got a haircut and he, like, glued all the hair together. Like, let's make a mug out of that. Cool. <laughs> Kristen says, like, a Komodo dragon? Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's is pretty it? fierce. There's a beast. And the cool thing about the Komodo dragon, I'm, I believe I'm remembering this right. I get them in the monitor, those confused, is their teeth, they're bacteria. They've got like all these bacteria in their mouth. And so if they bite you, it can like infect you and it's like poisonous. That's disturbing. Yeah, they're huge too. They're really fast. Kristen, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Andrew wants a panda. Oh. Yeah. Pandas yeah. are cute. Pandas are cute, but Trap. they're kind of stupid if I remember correctly. Really? Yeah, I think so. I thought they were smart. I think no, I think I think pandas are pretty dumb. I mean, they're probably smarter than like you know pet rock as we saw earlier, but or, <laughs> or sensei bat. Dang it! <laughs> I said it first. Travis Sorry. says a bald eagle. That's Ooh, my boy. That would be cool. I don't know if I do a bald eagle, but that's like you're on the right track. A eagle with a mullet. I I got I I've told her this a million times, but I've got I actually held like a hawk, several hawks, and like an owl on my arm, and their bones are hollow, so they're like lighter than you think, but they're huge, man. They're like That's literally like this tall. They're yeah, fun fact. I, this is probably what, two years ago? 
he had never been to the Squam Lake Science Center and I took him and there's like a bunch of families with like little kids and strollers and there's just me and Coach Dagum, two adults. Yeah, and we're just like, like, like ah, and it was me I'm like, ah, you know, like, I love animals, man. <laughs> you get to see all the hawks and things, it's great. Um, okay, Norris is cheetah or a horse. Yeah. Um, how about a cheetah horse? That's a little weird. I was going to say a cheetah riding a horse, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lily says a tiger. Yes. Lily and I are going to have pet tigers. That would be pretty cool. Yes. Um, Elsa says peacock or flamingo. Nice. Good luck, Laura, keeping a peacock or flamingo. Although I know some people do have peacocks. Peacock. Yeah, peacock. Comes, on like yeah. farms and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her mom says no. <laughs> I had a peacock feather one time. Peacock feathers are super long. Super cool. Um, Nicholas's mom says bears who love beets in Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica. Bears. Beats. That'll start like like alliteration or what? No. Are you kidding? You don't understand this reference right no, now? No, I don't. Really? I have to do the face. Wait, just stay there. We'll do this. Uh, why? What is it? If I stare to? at the camera and look at the camera like this, okay, ready? I'm talking to you. We're having a conversation. There's a camera recording. It's not yes. like like this. Yes. Who am I if I do that? I don't know. Me. Think of a TV show. Okay, and we're having. Oh, a... shit. Wow, finally. Bears. I don't know Beats. what that is. Battlestar Galactica. It's him when he pretends to be Dwight. Oh. One of us remembers everything about everything they've ever watched. Irrelevant and knowledge. There's also Jacob. Irrelevant knowledge. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Irrelevant knowledge. Fun fact. Okay. <laughs> Can't do the times tables, but remember that. Bears who love beats. Bears who love beats in Battlestar Galactica. Don't, don't do that, kids. Um, Laura says um, maybe an ostrich, like in the old Swiss Family Robinson movie. Yes, in the Why tiger pit. Kind of grumpy though. But they have a tiger pit in the old movie. Yeah, they're okay. They're <laughs> See, grumpy. look, look. Kristen is helping you. Kristen is helping you. Remember this? Oh yeah, definitely. He okay. I get this from my dad. My dad can remember every single quote, line, scene, actor, everything from any movie he's ever watched, and that's pretty much me. Um, also, um, Nicholas's mom says the child. Which, a fun fact, I feel like I should release. What is wrong with you? The child? Is that what you're, like a pet child? No, Yoda. Baby Yoda. Ah, oh, you're not <laughs> one of those people. <laughs> Ooh, baby Yoda! It's like, the, it's like, you know what it is? It's, it's minions for millennials. Okay. Millennials. That's what millennials? Yeah. Millennials? Like, no, no. Millennials that are millions? Millennials. Right. Haley says a sea lion. Whoa. That would be pretty cool. Those things are that scary. Would cool. scary. That would be cool. That would be cool. Um, Since Beth looks like when she wakes up, Susie wants a red panda. I'll share it with Larkin. Yeah, like, those are cute. Those are cute. I did, I, they're not. They don't look for the bear or the raccoon family. Did you know that? Yeah, I know. They wait. Yeah. What on earth is this? I would want. Elvin's Zondi says I would want an an axolotl. It's a. It's a. It's an. Um, hang on. Stop. It is an amphibian. Amphibian. I think. Okay, let's look this up. Let's see if Coach Jacob gets this for 100 points. I think it's an amphibian. Axolotl. I think it's an. I might actually. I, mm, okay, wait. I knew it. This is what it is. This is what it is. It's like a little, like a gremlin sea newt creature thing. So Coach Jacob knows I remember an amphibian. She remembered the stupid Dwight and reference. And <laughs> <laughs> Pop culture wins on Jeopardy. <laughs> Pop culture. <laughs> Kristen has to go. Bye, Kristen. Thanks Bye, for Kristen. hanging out with us. Bye, We're probably heading up soon. fairly soon. soon. Um, I'm just having fun reading everybody's answers. I stopped stretching. I'm fine. I stretched plenty, right? Oh, we stretch for like oh, can we do, should we 30 do, should minutes. Should we do the uh, Coach Jacob shock and horror show? What does that mean? That means I put a tea bag in my mouth. Ready? <gasps> Wait. Wait. Hang on. Children, I'm so sorry. You're Don't do this at home. Mm. He's not eating them, by the way. Just mm, mm. He's not like chewing on them. Are you? There you go. It's efficiency. No tea wasted. Yeah, Don't just uh, your mom no, will kill you. We're gonna need to see you like a. Sorry, moms. <laughs> I, kind of, I kind of, honestly kind of feel guilty. I, I <laughs> All right, well, if anyone has any final questions, we'll hang around for just a couple more minutes here. But I think we're gonna wrap things up in a second. Um, I know we had fun. Um, just a little reminder: if you have not already seen, there was an important message. Oh, we're doing this now. There's an important message from Cindy Carl and his wife Michelle on the main. Facebook page regarding memberships for April, just because I know a lot of people have asked about what the status is going to be. Um, the announcement is that we're actually holding classes on the moon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. I might have dreamed of that, actually. That is not the announcement. But anyways, um, 
so check check that if you have any like you know lingering questions or concerns that kind of answers a lot of those um we are hoping to reopen in april i have not heard officially from sensei carl when that is like i with everything just like with everything else it's kind of going on a day-to-day -day basis right now just every day i'm sure you guys are familiar with this something new seems to come up so um we're just kind of trying not to make things too confusing by saying this is exactly what we're going to do and then the next day we're like yeah we're not going to do that so so is that um and then my final little fun thing i want to share with everyone is some of you guys, hopefully most of you guys are aware of the fact that we did a shirt order to raise money um, for families that were, you know, either laid off, they, they were at work, or um, just, you know, maybe they're, you know, families from one well, of the school districts, and now that they're not at school, they're having trouble, like, getting certain things. So basically, um, we did a fundraiser to raise some money and, like, get some, like, gift cards. People are super generous. How about, yeah. So we're basically, generous, yeah. um, I'm talking right now with, um, a contact with the Laconia school district and, um, inner lakes. And it looks like we're gonna be able to help out, um, either 10 families equally, or if, you know, the school finds out that, Hey, there's, you know, three families that really need help and they can obviously divvy up the funds, but basically we have the capability of helping out 10 families, which is really cool. Um, and that was all thanks to you guys. So thank you. If we still have people that are interested in ordering those shirts, or you're like, this is the first time I've ever heard about this. What, it, what it even is that? Um, we might reopen and do another order if people are interested, but even if we don't, you know, I'm still like super happy. That was awesome. We're just trying to look for a little way to help out and do stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I just want a chance, like I said, to kind of hang out and talk and see everybody. Aaliyah just joined us. Aaliyah. Hey, Aaliyah. That's, that's Coach Jacob. Remember yeah. Coach Jacob? Wait, he looks wait, like wait. this. His name is Jacob. He's a coach. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I can't, I, we have, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yes. Dune, dune. Bring your hands down. Dune and then like. So. I, I, I will get our secret handshake next time I see you. I probably will get it right. Probably. Don't count on it though. Because he's Don't Coach Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. It's fair. You miss Aaliyah's super cool hairdo. She had a super cool hairdo. Um, it's probably right before Christmas. She got all the braids in her hair. Really, really nice. Cool. Nice. Really cool. Nice. But she couldn't Not do purple. Cool she couldn't do purple because she was in one of the plays in the Saki playoffs, and they said she had to do a new cool hair color. Oh. So next time. Oh. Next time prepare. But anyways, um, sweet. We have some people that are messaging me already about the shirts if we do another order. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. I will let you know about the shirts. Um, I think even, you know, um, even if it's like this goes on for another month, you know, we can still definitely put another order. So I'm sure, like I said, every little bit is helpful to people. Um, we had this discussion. I was, I call them the shirt committee. Um, Miss Susie and Miss Courtney were really helpful in um, critiquing my shirt designs and giving me advice on things and coming up with some really cool ideas. No, wait, is this and just for the adults? The shirts? Yeah. No. Like, well, what, what if, what if, like, what if the kids, okay, what if kids, what if you guys, we're like, hey, mom, can I do like an extra chore? And maybe we could raise a couple some dollars that way. Yeah, that's true. Maybe you ask your parents and say like, hey, mom, dad, is there anything that I could do to clean up or extra help? You know, not cleaning up your dishes or anything after yourself, stuff you should be doing already, but like anything extra, you know, maybe raise a little bit of extra money. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Um, Obviously check with your parents first. But um, where was I going with this? Oh, so yeah, my shirt, my shirt committee. And we were talking about when we were making the shirts, you know, if it was something we should do, because we were like, well, what if we only, you know, have interest or a couple of people that want to buy a shirt? Like, is it really going to be worth it if we raise like 50 bucks? It's not really a lot of money. That's not really that great. And then we realized that, okay, well, imagine if you have no job and you've got kids, you know, yeah, 50 bucks is not going to go very far. But just the gesture of seeing, hey, somebody went out of their way and put all this, you know, time and people got together and they did this for us. That still counts for something. Okay. That's still that gesture shows that, you know, and we're all together. So. Shirt is pretty and cool. the shirts are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, she always comes up with these designs and she's like, yeah, Carl wants me to do this design. And we have this big meeting. We're going to do this thing. I'll say, I hope so. Since like, Carl wants to do the design and stuff like that. <laughs> and she goes, what do you think? And I'm like, wow, that's pretty good. Like he does it really fast too. Yeah. I'm speedy. Yeah. Speedy, speedy. So, anyways, thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with regular classes at 10 30 and 11 30. 
and Friday. Um, today was going to be promotions day. So uh, if you have any questions, everybody should know what the deal is. If you were supposed to promote or evaluate, um, I should have already reached out to you with the contingency plan. But hey, happy promotions day. You are officially now a purple belt or whatever, nice. if that was going to happen. Am I black belt? No. Huh. You got demoted. Oh. Go shake goes back to white belt. Happy demotion day. Rats. And we're here in person, so I physically give you a white belt. <laughs> it's great. But anyways, this is okay, this is my favorite part of getting finishing the stream is I have to like stick my face into the camera and be like, hi oh, everyone, and okay. try and turn off the camera without. And so I just try and like Wait. get rid of my face and and then okay. Bye! <laughs>